Most wins in a regular season in school history with 29. They have never won 30 games here at Gonzaga. Well, I didn't realize that. A couple of times before, Gonzaga has had 29 wins back in 2002 and also in 2006, but have never won 30. Parker will check out. A miss there and a rebound by Elias Harris. Well, I'll tell you what, if there was a race as to which team in the country that could get to 25 wins the fastest, <laughs> well, Gonzaga won that this year. Seriously, a couple weeks ago, they reached 25. They lapped the field as Barham will hit the three. And now it's a 62 37 lead for Gonzaga. This is when Portland gets tested if they can at least make a game of it. And then there's a turnover by Rodgers. Well, this is so, this is difficult duty for Portland. OK, I mean, this is senior day for a great team um, that's well engaged in this game and wants to send the sen seniors outright. Oh, with a tough catch there and a pass from Stockton. Oh, Dower hits. So Dower with four. Olenek has 15 to lead the Bulldogs right now. He is on the bench with a career-high 11 rebounds as well. Presley misses, but Nicholas there to clean it up and missed. 64-37 the score, and Gary Bell Jr., our Subway sub of the game, brought to you by Subway, home of the $5 footlong. Subway, eat fresh. Yes, hitting from everywhere, and he's uh, head coach here the other night at BYU, and Pangos was one for 12. He hit three three-pointers and, and kept Gonzaga in the game. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a very good player. I mean, you see his numbers there, 11 points tonight, all off the bench, as we said, because Eddie got the start as a senior, and so he's not used to being sub, but a sub, but he, he's getting it done today. Uh, Nicholas hits the free throw. Portland will throw a little full court pressure at Gonzaga. Looking inside of Dower, but Harris working hard, got the rebound, shot was swatted away, but a foul coming up. Again, so unselfish. I mean, Drew Barham had a wide open, almost a wide open three, and what did he do? He thought Dower had a better one because Dower was streaking to the basket and low to the basket, and, and then Harris picked up the second chance opportunity rebound. Now how tough is that as a coach to, to get kids to buy into because everybody wants to take that shot because you're going to get yourself on highlight shows you're going to you know impress everybody with your your stats but it's not the best time always for team basketball right I, I think part of it is is how Gonzaga coaching staff coaches their guys but I also think it's innate I think they've got the kind of personalities that, on this team that they really don't care who scores they just care about winning and they've done a lot of that around these parts. Up comfortably in this one. Working into Vandermars. Finally, he's having a tough time. Ball taken away. And there's our super sub, Gary Bell. Harris will give that up. Uh, point illustrated there. He had a good look. It's amazing what can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. Who said that? The great hmm. John Wood. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably have uh, an idea of who that was. <laughs> Harris to the basket, lays it up and scores, and a foul. It's like a clinic. Yeah, this is this is an offensive clinic. Gonzaga is so efficient. Good rip through, footwork. Elias Harris from the perimeter, and the finish in the foul. Dower will check out. Karnowski is back in here for the Bulldogs. And Harris with one shot coming. about the friendly rims here at the McCarthy Athletic Center. 18 now for Harris. Not one Portland player in double figures yet. A 30 point advantage. Biggest lead of the afternoon for the Bulldogs. Rogers with a circus shot missed. And now Bell with a three. 
Here, here's what I really appreciate about Gonzaga, and, and it, it, it talks about to their team and how they play. They haven't gotten sloppy. No. They've continued to play really tough defense and creating good looks on the offensive end. Making it a blowout, 72-39. Bulldogs in front, our super sub, Gary Bell Jr. Doing the damage from three-point distance. Can. Bulldogs in command, 72-39 with 8.13 left to go. And uh, normally you wouldn't go ahead and name your player of the game this early in the game, but uh, we're going to go ahead and name Kelly Olenek uh, our A to Z Reynolds player of the game. No job is too big or too small, and we run everything. When A to Z Reynolds will be your most valuable player. Yeah, he's gone to work in all ways. Dribble drive, 11 career rebounds, coming off the curl cut with the finish. And then also he can streak the lane and complete a fast break. I know there are many, many coaches around the West Coast Conference. If you look at his numbers, 15 points, seven of eight shooting, 11 rebounds, third career double-double. But uh, coach, there are a lot of guys in the West Coast Conference hoping that this kid declares himself eligible for the NBA draft and is not around here next year. I know if I was coaching the league, I'd be I'd be begging for that. But uh, you can see he only has three career double-doubles. You know what, that, that speaks to the depth of Gonzaga. You know, it's not like, Kelly Olenek has to play 38 minutes out of 40, right, to help his team. Right. I mean, they're 10 deep. Now, he's their best player and likely MVP of the league, but, you know, a lot of guys contribute to the success of Gonzaga, and, and they truly are 10 deep. A lot of teams will play 10 guys, but they're not really 10 deep. They play it out of necessity more than out of luxury. Bailey running through the lane, and he'll get fouled. So Bailey will get a couple of free throws. We'll talk a little bit about Portland here with the fact that Aaron Revno was mentioning yesterday at practice about how this this young team was starting to come together a little bit in December. But they had a couple of injuries. They had Bailey go down with a broken nose and uh, he had to have surgery. Had to play with a mask for a little while. It was a little uncomfortable for him. His numbers were so much better without that mask. And then they had the David Carr injury where he went down for the year. Yeah, people don't remember that. I mean, David Carr it was their guy. He's their quarterback slash lead guard. And for him to go down in early January, January with an ACL, that's a huge, you know, a huge negative for Portland. Absolutely. I mean, you try to look on the bright side if you're Eric Revenue and say you're going to have Carr back again. That's a red shirt. And Grant Guinness in there. The pilots have gone cold. They have gone four and a half minutes between field goals. And Gonzaga has gone on an 18 to 3 run in the meantime. As we have a timeout on the floor. Elias Harris, one of the three seniors honored here today before this ball game, loved in Spokane. More on Senior Day coming up. Here's Elias Harris honored here before the game as well in a very special ceremony before this game. Harris doing his part. And Mike Hart seems as though coach he got the, the, the biggest of the ovations. I know that <laughs> Harris is probably the better player. They're making the signal exactly. of the heart exactly. right the students that was very cool and then you know he's really one of my favorite players in the country. I mean I mean that sincerely. As you take a look at him there, watching the game, I mean, he goes after every ball. He's an unbelievable, you know, energy guy. And again, big to big, Gonzaga right there, Karnowski to Harris. The, guy, the bigs just work so well together, don't they? I mean, they're in Absolutely. tandem constantly. That looked like a little like a Stockton to Malone right there, but it was Stockton to Harris. Deflection there. But you talk about glue guys, and I know that term is used a lot, but there are certain players that just get it, and they can deliver a coach's message there on the floor and just uh, with their style of play. Yeah, Mike Hart, I mean, pun intended, he has a lot of heart and uh, plays that way and has a big deal of why Gonzaga's been, as you see, Guy Landry Eddy, 
And I really like how my cart, I really like how the entrances of the players and the introductions were done very tastefully. Elias Harris coming down the stands and and then their senior manager there uh, in the middle. I mean, it was a well done ceremony. Absolutely, everybody was uh, looking toward the stands. As Rogers hits that shot to end the field goal drought for Portland. I mean, it's not like this crowd needs any extra revving up on a nightly basis, but uh, it was truly a, a feel good time to be in this arena. Barham looking inside. Nice little move there by Karnowski. Mr. Shot got his own rebound. Score that one in a foul. Everything is going in Zaga's way. This is an old school big man move right here by Karnowski, and they're very high on him, his future. And see him go back to his to his uh, shoulder there. Then he stepped through. Great patience on the foot. We'll watch him step through his man, get him up in the air, and then look how two hands on the ball and he kept it high. Didn't bring it down for a smaller player mm -hmm. to steal. So Eddie will come back into the game. And Karnowski, as we mentioned earlier, was really practicing his free throws yesterday and misses his first one of the night. It's pretty good motion. You know, he's got good arc, he's got good rotation on the ball. It just needs to get the distance down right. With it. Rogers. Fancy dribble in there. Chilke back to Rogers. They've been looking for all day, but Vandermars has not been open and Mr. Shapo was fouled. Let's uh, kind of give an idea of what this Gonzaga team does to you defensively. Gonzaga had 46 points scored in the first half alone and have only allowed Portland 42 points, and we only have. A little under six minutes to go. Well, that's what we talked about at the top. I mean, Mark Few has his team playing at such a high level, leading the conference in field goal percentage, and leading the conference in being stingy on defense and only allowing their opponents less than 40% shooting. I mean, when you have that combination going, I mean, that's that's hard to beat. Uh, Hart will come in, and Elias Harris will get his curtain call. And that's got to be a great feeling for him. That's great. Mark Few talked this morning about how he's never had a player that's just so low maintenance. You know, there's never been any controversy in any way, socially, academically, athletically, and he just couldn't speak high enough Elias Harris. 